Hello everyone. So just come out for a walk with the family. It's um, early evening, but we wanted to come down to the Oral River to see um, the ice melting. So we've just walked up um, pretty much half the way of Soviet Street. I've got some good footage of that walking up. So um, I'll put that on to the end of this video. But I really wanted to do this one today because it's quite important to me. It's exactly 12 months today since um, since I haven't left Russia. So I've been here 12 months now without having to go back to the UK or anywhere else. So yeah, this is one of the longest times I've been kind of away uh, from, from the UK. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that. It's one of my favorite points in the city here um, with the Europe to Asia bridge in the background crossing the Ural River. I'll get some more um, kind of footage of, of the ice breaking. You can walk right down there as well. But um, this time last year, none of this, none of the ice was here. It was all gone. So um, it's definitely a lot later um, spring this year. But yeah, it's um, really nice to be here. The, the weather's a lot warmer. It's, I think it's got up to about 15 degrees today. So it's made a made a huge difference but yeah it's um it's been a fun kind of 12 months it's not it's 18 months in total just over i've been here in russia but it's 12 months since i haven't um left russia and you know what i absolutely love it i think it's um absolutely incredible the amount of, um just just being here being with my family and thoroughly thoroughly enjoying the culture the people and this great great city so yeah i just wanted to share that with you because it's um it's it's very important to me and um, so yeah i'll just go and catch up with the family and i'll get some more footage of this lovely viewpoint a few a few of the monuments and some of the amazing architecture that i really love here in orenburg and this part of the city so we've just come for a walk on sviatska street or soviet street and it's actually um fairly warm and i think it's brought quite a lot of people out because we weren't expecting it to be um this busy but they've um yeah it's uh one of our favorite streets one of the most um famous or busiest streets in orenburg actually um just resurfaced all the pedestrian bit they put all these new paving stones down a new um scooter or bicycle track because they do have a lot of um, electric scooters here in Orenburg city as well. They've actually just put them out again now after winter. Now pretty much all the snow's gone. That's all that's remaining really. But I really like this street because um, it reminds me a bit of St. Petersburg, some of the um, architecture. Um, I really like the yellow and white um, buildings and architecture but yeah a lot of it has been um kind of redone on this on this street but it's um yeah probably the main street or the most popular street in Orenburg so it's Sviatska street or translation into English um Soviet street there's lots of um restaurants coffee shops I personally like the architecture and we're just going to walk right down into the distance there um, where you can just see the monument in the distance because that's where the Ural River starts and it's a very very good vantage point to see um, the Ural River this time of year but I think it also might be quite busy because the ice has obviously started to melt now and i think it'll be the last couple of days now where there's ice or drifting ice on the Ural river and um, yeah i'll just walk you a little bit further down and um, i'll stop just before we cross the roads here and then i'll start the video again but um as you can see all, all these um blocks are being renovated um they'll probably look similar to again the, the white and yellow um, buildings so probably uh, flats above and you've got um, different shops below as well I've actually got um, a coffee shop called 
Lon London Cafe there. So yeah, it's um, quite a good one. And we've got... It's a cat cafe. Pretty little night. It's another way you can probably bring in your cat by the looks of it. Let's have a look through the window. So yeah, lots of cats in there. Cat cafe. It's pretty unusual. Hello, kitties. <laughs> but yeah, but I think this row's um, quite a lot of different coffee shops, isn't it? Yeah, this one's quite interesting. Reminds me of home, London Cafe. There we go, London Cafe. It's quite an unusual name, but um, yeah, something I can relate to there pretty much. But yeah, I'll, um, yeah, like I said, walk right down to the end there and we'll get a good view of the Ural River. So we just cross the road on the busy kind of intersection. We'll just carry on walking out because, again, there's some unusual monuments and architecture. So we've got uh, this one here. Which is quite interesting. Yeah, last remaining bits of snow now. A few of these buildings are theatres and educational institutes. This is uh, needing a bit of repair. Again, when I first came to Orenburg, this is the architecture I kind of fell in love with again. It really reminded me of St. Petersburg. Um, yeah, there's lots, uh, lots going on, but it's like I said, it's a lot busier than I thought. Yeah, so that. That building's been done up, hasn't it? What's this? Medical University, that one. So this building is abandoned, but it was um, a flight school, a flight academy at one stage, so it is in need of repair. I think a lot of people want this building um, to be maintained and obviously renovated and repaired because it's a lovely building. It was, yeah, um, flight academy or flight training school. I'll try and pronounce the name of... The monument, Ch Chikalov, hence to do with flying um, or aviation. It's quite a big, prominent um, monument right at the right at the far end now of Fiasca Street, where everybody's standing. That's now going to be the view of the Ural River. It's uh, one of my favourite viewpoints in the city. I'll just pan around and, yeah, it's Sietzer Street. Probably about two kilometres if you walk right to the other end. I'll just go over to the pack. Sorry, I can't um, translate that one. But yeah, it was um, a flight, flight school. Uh, Gagarin was on there. Yeah, this was um, interesting. In Russia, you can have donkey rides, and they always have these electric 
um, car thingies for uh, for the kids. I suppose it's a bit of fun. But yeah, winter's over, spring is here, and we are definitely uh, enjoying it more out and about now. There's a lot more people out. Just walk you to the end. And get a good view. There you go. That's the ice now starting to melt on the Ural River. That's the famous um, Europe to Asia bridge. So we are actually in Europe on this side, and as you walk over the Ural, over the bridge to the other side, you're actually in Asia then. It's very interesting. But yeah, this time last year, this was completely gone, the ice. So spring is definitely later this year. Let's have a look over this side. So they actually have um, cable cars crossing the Ural River as well. You can see the two just about to cross each other. They start at the top just over there. And they take you just to the other side of the river. So, like I said before, we're on Europe this side and we're on Asia the other side. It's actually quite a nice um, forest behind to skiing in the winter and to kind of ride your bike through in, in the summer. There we go. I've actually been on the cable cars once. It's, um, yeah, good fun. But I think they've just started them up again because I don't think they have them running too much when it's um, so cold. But yeah, it's something very interesting again. So this is quite interesting. This is where you can get the cable cars, is what I call them. Where they stop. And take over to the Ural, or over the Ural River. Uh, also, at this end, you've got the Ormberg Museum, which is a very interesting museum. I want to do another video on that because it's a really interesting history of obviously all about Ormberg. Um, yeah, it's quite cool. The uh, cable car lift. But yeah, really interesting part of the city. It's, I keep saying it's one of the, my favourite parts. So I thought I would show you that as we got out and about. It's late evening, about um, half past six. Yeah, beautiful um, spring evening.
Yeah, so I hope you liked the video today. Let me know what you think of um, content and Soviet Street. I'm obviously seeing the ice drifting in the background there. Let me know what you thought about that in the comments. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel and share, and I'll see you in the next video.